But you might be thinking, Catalan, how could you even say that? When everybody knows that it is the United States of America. And you would be correct. How's it going everyone? My name is Catalan. A little while ago, I released a video all about the difference between a uh and the, and when and where you should use these English articles. And since that video, you guys have definitely gotten better at using English articles in your messages to me, but there are still a few consistent mistakes that I'm seeing people make. And so this video is going to be all about the five most common mistakes that English learners make with English articles. The first really common mistake is using articles for places like countries, streets, cities, towns, islands, and continents. For these things, you don't need to use an article. But you might be thinking, Catalan, how could you even say that when everybody knows that it is the United States of America? And you would be correct, we do use an article for that. But I want you to realize that the United States of America is made up of 50 states. And same with the United Arab Emirates, made up of seven emirates. And we also say the Philippines, made up of over 7,000 islands. So can you see a little bit of a pattern here? When we have countries made up of lots of separate pieces, whether that be an emirate or a state or islands, then we use the, but not for any other country, except for the Netherlands, that is the only exception. The second mistake a lot of people make is using articles incorrectly for meals, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Often for meals, we don't need to use an article. And if you do use one, it will change the meaning of the sentence. For example, compare the sentences, I like breakfast and I like the breakfast. Saying I like breakfast is a general statement. That means any day, any time, I like breakfast. However, the sentence, I like the breakfast, means that I like the breakfast that I just ate this one right now. Our third mistake is not using an article for jobs and titles. For jobs and titles, we always use the article a. Uh. So I would say I'm a teacher. You could say I'm a student. So when you're introducing yourself to somebody and you're about to tell them what you do for work, don't forget to use the article a. Uh. The fourth common mistake is using articles for proper nouns. A proper noun is a specific name of a person, place, or thing. A proper noun will always start with a capital letter. A couple of examples of proper nouns would be Sri Lanka, January, and my name, Catalan. For these proper nouns, we never use any articles. And our fifth and final commonly made mistake with English articles is using articles for school subjects, sports, and languages. For these things, please do not use an article. We never say study the maths, play the hockey, or speak the English. We don't use an article for those. The only time that you can use an article for sports is if you're talking about going to go watch a sports match or a sports game. So you can say, I'm going to go watch the hockey match or the hockey game. Using the in this way is okay. Great, so that is all for today. I know it can be a little bit tricky to know when and where to use articles. Sometimes we use them when we don't need them, sometimes we're using the wrong one, and sometimes we're not using it when we do actually need an article. But you should have a better idea now of when to correctly use English articles. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful, and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Of of course, if you have any questions, you can also send them to me over that, or you can leave them in the comments down below. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!